Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new, I'm Jo and this is going to be another Thrifty Thursday haul um, It's an open collaboration hosted by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming I'll have her information down below um, Okay, so let's get started um, I found this book Food for Your Garden I already have a copy of this but I really like it because I do a vegetable garden like my gardening journal and um, this has cool images in it this matte paper the images are really awesome they're not oh strawberries um they're not photos you can see the illustrations so yeah I really like it so it's fairly self-explanatory like photos and all sorts of bits in there but yeah so I'm super happy to find another one of those we found this little book, Children's Letters to God. <laughs> Some of them are quite funny, so I just thought it was cute. <laughs> yeah. Dear God, count me in. Your friend, Herbie. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, just little letters. I just think they're cute. Um, I found another one of these, a little um, a small Edith Holden book. So these pages are glued in, so you can only use them really for journal cards, unless you want to hinge the pages. I mean, it doesn't even look like it's ever been really read or anything. This has sat on someone's shelf for some time, I would imagine. I found this cute little old book on the shelf in one of the op shops and had a brief sort of flip through and I, I just loved the little image, the black and white images there. Completely adorable. So I had to rescue it. So yeah, that was super cute. Uh, I grabbed this recipe journal because it's full of these pages which are sewn in so I can take them out and put them straight in a in a cookbook journal or it's got the different colours. We had purple back there, pink, green, uh, yellow, another different green, um, more pink at the back. So yeah, grab that. Found this little green book. I thought on that looks interesting so I just I really liked the images in here so yeah grab that thought that was rather cute I like that style of illustration um so I found this, this is quite big um it's basically just a, a long, narrow wooden shelf. I haven't cleaned it yet, so pardon the grime. Obviously, used to have a, a plate of some sort on there, something decorative. So yeah, I intend to I think I'm going to hang it up. It might go at the back of my desk. I'm not sure. I can go back there for now. Um, I went to a Sunday market that we often that's often run at a school just down the road, and um, I found these. Their salt and pepper shakers, their holly hobby. So I was like, I have to have these. So yeah, I grabbed them. They just, they're just decoration on my shelf. Little green glass bottle I found the other day. A little cork. <laughs> Again, it's just to decorate my room. So same deal with this. I haven't cleaned it yet. So. It's a little tin covered wooden box. Kind of seen better days, but yep, that'll have stuff in it on my desk and I'll label it. And I found this little picture frame. I like these metal picture frames. I've got a few of them. So yeah, I may change the picture or I might just leave that in there. It's kind of cool. I think it might be fabric. And then I found these two. They're metal as well. Uh, they're 
they're pretty old <laughs> so yeah nothing in them but I liked them I think they're cool uh, this little book just like the images and stuff in here This piece of fabric, it's just a piece of calico, I don't know how big it is, not very, oh man, okay snapping sellotape is really hard when it does that, oh that's better, yeah, so I use it for stamping, covering books, uh, all sorts, bases for my little snippet things I sew. Um, I got these three zips for the packaging. <laughs> Is that one? Lightning zip. And then these two are cool. I don't know why they remind me of like, well, they remind me of the 70s. And Barbie for some reason. Although they remind me of Daisy Dolls. I'm sure they used to be that colour. We had Daisy Dolls, not Barbies. But yeah, the packaging's funky, so really retro. So I grabbed that. An orange and a pink. Found this fabric. Uh, it's just this one. There's cherries on it. Although cherries are not orange, <laughs> but still cool. A little one with daisies. I love daisies. Oops. This one, which will go in my apple journals when I make them. And then this one's just lots of scraps and it's just got like garden tools on it, a little trowel and fork. So yeah, I thought those were cute. And this bag of trims. This little this little red one. Oops. It's <laughs> actually quite cute. Um, I grabbed it mainly for this one, <laughs> oh, and this one, but yeah, I adore these ones. And this one. Little embroidered trims are super cute. And then we've got this, this one, this one's cool too. It'll look cool on denim, actually, on a denim journal cover, I reckon. And it's just a bit of tartan bias binding and a... A gingham bias tape so yeah and then last but not least I saw this scrap of Winnie the Pooh fabric which is stapled into this bag so I have to be careful I suppose yep, yep. Oh, sorry about this anyway I'll leave it like that so yeah who doesn't like Winnie the Pooh? That's so cute. So yeah, that's it for this week, folks. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and I will catch you next time. Take care out there. Bye.